Stock Market Basics – How to Read Fundamental Analysis – Financial Statements Fundamental analysis is a way for you to get insights on the companies that you invest in and know how they are earning money and what they are doing to your money. All these things are good to know so you can have extra confidence in your investment. There are three financial statements that you really need to know because they are super important in stocks. The Balance Sheet a balance sheet shows a snapshot of a company's assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity at the end of the reporting period. It does not show the flows into and out of the accounts during the period. Assets are things that a company owns that have value. This typically means that they can either be sold or used by the company to make products or provide services that can be sold. Assets include physical property such as plants, trucks, equipment, and inventory. It also includes things that can't be touched but nevertheless exist and have value, such as trademarks and patents. And cash itself is an asset, so are investments a company makes. Liabilities are amounts of money that a company owes to others. This can include all kinds of obligations like money borrowed from a bank to launch a new product, rent for use of a building, money owed to suppliers for materials, payroll a company owes to its employees, environmental cleanup costs or taxes owed to the government. Liabilities also include obligations to provide goods or services to customers in the future. So, what about shareholders? Well, shareholders' equity is sometimes called capital or net worth. It's the money that would be left if a company sold all of its assets and paid off all of its liabilities. This leftover money belongs to the shareholders or the owners of the company. The Income Statement the income statement measures a company's performance over a specific time frame. Technically, you could have a balance sheet from a month or even a day, but you'll only see the public company's report quarterly and annually. The income statement presents information about revenues, expenses, and profit that was generated as a result of the business operation for that period. Statement of Cash Flows It shows how a company uses its cash. Typically, it is divided into three categories. Number one, operating activities. Number two, investing activities. And number three, financing activities. Operating activities. This analyzes a company's cash flow from net income or losses. For most companies, this section of the cash flow statement reconciles the net income to the actual cash the company received from or used in its operating activities. Investing activities. The second part of a cash flow statement shows the cash flow from all investing activities, which generally include purchase or sales of long-term assets, such as property, plants and equipment, as well as investment securities. If a company buys a piece of machinery, the cash flow statement would reflect this activity as a cash outflow from investing activities because it used cash. Financing Activities the third part of a cash flow statement shows the cash flow from all financing activities. Typical sources of cash flow include cash raised by selling stocks and bonds or borrowing from banks. Likewise, paying back a bank loan would show up as a use of cash flow. Final Thoughts Lastly, these concepts are incredibly important and keep in mind that they are all related. And you should always keep good track of them in order to stay good at stocks and never lose money. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends.